Hey guys, sorry if the video is a little bit low quality, and sorry if my last video was low quality too. Um, I just wanted to show you some cool stuff that you can um, do on your Chromebook. Actually, I'm just going to show you how to get Windows on your Chromebook without having to turn it into developer mode and um, using a USB drive. So, you want to go to this link here, vps.apponfly.com, right there. Sorry if it's low quality, um, right there. I'll give you some time to enter that in. Okay. Uh, and then click enter. This is just not secure, but it's going to refresh. And it's going to give you a trial limit. You can enter a random password. Just enter a random password if you want or you can just keep it at the default option not really gonna enter a password for the best experience you can put it at full screen and it's gonna give you a trial limit of an hour and then uh, over time it's gonna ask you for your email and then you're gonna have to go to your gmail or whatever mail service you usually use and you, yeah it even gives you the windows cursor which is cool um, and you could browse the web it's a fully working um, windows software Look, like if I search up YouTube, it might ask me if I'm a robot. No, I won't. Um, and then went to YouTube. Uh, remind me later. I'm not even going to use this for a very long time. I'm just going to give you an example. Um what it looks like I mean it looks like regular YouTube but it's just the outdated version if you want to get the updated version you're gonna to have to download Chrome and you can download Chrome um, like if I search up PewDiePie uh, oh god Pew uh, beware that this is kinda of slow um, it might not respond from time to time, um, so just be aware of that. Uh, I'm just gonna give you as an exam him as an example. Uh, like if you, yeah, it's not really that responsive. It'll just make make it. Yeah, it, it's it's really slow. And yeah, it, it it's it's not really that responsive. And he, this tool bag right here, you could drag it. Um, you could um unplug it. Um, and do cool stuff. You could press the start button, and it's gonna take you to start. And you could press the start button again to close that. Or you can just press the start button manually right here. It also works. So you could basically do everything that normal Windows has. This is just basically a virtual machine. Just online. And whenever you don't want to use it anymore, you could just close it, and you're good to go. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, it's not at 10 minutes, but 
it, it, I didn't really expect it to be a long video. I'm sorry for the low quality. And bye. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. So, bye.